I have here with me my February 2015 empties, my trash, but I'm sharing with you. So these are all beauty products that I finished or used up in February. Uh, so you're going to get a little review with some of them. And if I have in-depth reviews, I will just refer to them. When I can edit, I will put it in the description bar below. Let's get started because it's a thun load. And I'm really happy because I did finish quite a few things that are in projects that are going on. So it's in a bag already and I'm sorry if it's going to rustle too much. Please bear with me. I have another bag that I'm putting it over in. So if you hear a little rustling, please forgive me. So I have finished Winter Candy Apple. This was in my, I think it's finished 7 by Spring. Really, really lovely scent. I have backups of this so I was happy to finish, um, finish that. Then I finished this um, Perfusion Aloe Vera wipes i was gift did i win the, i can't remember if i was if i won this or i got it in a swap from makeup hungry and had to sheets they were very moist i didn't use it i used it once or twice on my face and i felt it irritated my face a bit but what a more or less i would use um this for was to clean my brushes and sometimes swatches with my finger and it took off everything i think it's um it can be worked uh used um to take off makeup but for those who are not as sensitive as I am I finished a uh, rock this is a Halorusty pigment in Rockstar Band finished this and that was in Project Pan I also finished this stress relief eucalyptus spearmint body wash this is amazing I actually have another one of this and some other scents from the aromatherapy line from Bath and Body Works and I really was not a believer of it until my but um, soon to be sister-in-law um, asked me to purchase for her and I ended up purchasing for me and I fell in love. If you're a person who has stressful days, they actually work. Finish this um, hand sanitizer. I purchased I think like three of these you get in a little case um, at the Dollar Tree and I just finished that one. And that was in my car actually. Samples here, um, this Lever 2000 Pure Rain Body Wash. I this was okay um it has more of a unisex scent and my husband actually liked it and thought it was a full size and i told him it was a sample so most likely will go and purchase that because he enjoyed it uh cleansing toilet twa um, toilet uh, makeup remover from up and up brand i like this i will constantly repurchase that repurchase that it works really great for me personally Another sample is the CO Bigelow Conditioner. I think it may have a shampoo, but that's another sample. I have lots of samples. I got this sample when I purchased some um, some stuff from Trini Exchange. This is the Olay Fresh Effects BB Cream. This is light to medium. I more or less use it as a what you call it as a moisturizer. Did not give me much coverage and it's scented so if you are set for somebody who does not like scented products on your face that is really scented finish this pantene pro v weekly rehab cream love this i have four or five more of these that is really um on sale from someone bare minerals bare skin pure brightness serum foundation this has a spf of 20. use this it was too share for me so I don't think I'll look at purchasing that. The Victoria's Secret Makeup Primer and Setting Spray. Love this stuff. Have a review on it. This was in Project Pan. And I did finish that. Then I have my Simple Moisturizing Facial Wash. This was actually in... Um, I think it's finished 5 by Cinco de Mayo. So, Mayo. So, finish this one. This is amazing. I have another one of these... Um, facial washes or cleansers but I have a lot of cleansers so I'm actually using a different one right now another product I finished that's in my finish um, 7 by spring is this vanilla silk from concept 2 love this have a couple other scents from that same line but that was really nice I don't know if they're available still because I've not been seeing them around I finished a take it off this is nail polish remover I absolutely love this. this is the lemon scented one and um, I just always repurchase that this is another Ole fresh effects yes I was trying to use our samples 
this is not a beauty product but this is a pure seduction home scented room spray I actually skimped on this but I end up having to use it up because the scent was going Victoria's Secret used to have these and they were amazing so that you can spray your room or your bedroom or your home even I didn't use my home but mainly like sometimes even my office I would have used those have one in my office still um, but they stopped making them and they actually would smell really nice this is City Color All Set Satin Spray with Silica. Have a review on this. This was also in Project Pan. Another um, cleansing wipes. I think one was close to finishing when the month started. Because it, oh, I actually have three. So, yeah, and I think it's what? There are 10 in them? Yeah, there are 10 in them. So, yeah, in a month I should finish like three. Then I finished this Enchanted Apple Body Splash. And that was not in any project, but I um, still will count it there because I'm just trying to finish a lot of body products. More wipes. This is in number seven, beautiful first skin. I think I had just a couple of these remaining and I was keeping it and skimping on it and decided to use it up before they got dry. I think I realized that they were drying out on me. Got this a year ago from Anis. So yeah, I had this for a year and it worked. It was going good still. Perfume sample in very irresistible by Givenchy. Enjoy that. Finish a uh, assured cotton rounds. My preference is actually the blue packaging and not the green, but I've not been seeing the blue packaging and the green. These are very tacky now, and I'm not enjoying them. I really enjoyed the blue as against that one. This is pink chiffon uh, shower gel another body product that I actually did finish but then I guess we can count these more like samples because they are smaller sized as against the larger one <clears throat> I'm trashing this this is the elf treat and team and this one I think is in medium this thing is gunky don't like it and I think I have another one that I have to look through my collection and trash this is coconut lime verbena volumizing shampoo it was okay no biggie then we have a coconut fig, coconut fig leaf. I got this, this is from Caldria. Got three samples in a birch box and that's to tell you how old this is. I have not done, I have unsubscribed to birch box more than a year. So I'm trying to use all these samples. Then I did finish this L'Oreal um, Total Repair 5 Damage Erasing Balm. This is really nice. Um, this, this one I think was my second purchase. This was recommended from Maxine Dinky Poo. I can't remember if it's 92 MKM, but her channel she spoke a lot about that. Then we have the Black Raspberry Vanilla um, Shower Gel. Use that up. Black Raspberry and White Tea. This one is shampoo. And I have the moisturizer for the moisturizer. This is almond and shea butter shampoo. So finish those. What are shampoos? Yeah, finish those. And I had all those deep conditioners to use up. So hence why you don't see conditioners for those. I finally did finish my alpha hydroxy face cream. Love, love this stuff. It says 8% AHA, but I saw someone do a review and it's now 7.8% of the alpha hydroxy acid as against eight percent the new ones then i finished this winter candy apple shower gel just because i was using the um what you call it just because i was using a lotion i was trying to use up that then i have a couple samples here actually this volumizing conditioner went with the shampoo then i wanted to talk about this crest baking soda and peroxide whitening i tried this and I have another one I'm currently using. I am not noticing a considerable change in my teeth color because I drink a, I drink a lot of coffee and tea. However, if you have sensitive teeth, don't use this. The baking soda and the whitening actually makes your teeth sensitive. So I usually use half of this and half of another toothpaste, which makes almost no sense. But I bought it, so I'm trying to use it up. Thought I will just share that with you guys because I know a lot of people look at stuff to get like whitening. Um, I wouldn't personally recommend that one. Sephora anti-defying, anti-aging moisturizing cream. Love this stuff. I, I'm going to consider purchasing a full size. Then Tarte Recreate Silicone Free Primer. This was in Project Pan. Finish this. That was okay. It is okay. I've used it before and it's okay. 
I'm actually trashing this nail polish because it got gunky and that was in my finish, um, in my polish project. This is a Stila Convertible Color Blush. I absolutely enjoy this. I don't know. I put off using this for so long and then when I used it, I was like amazed how well it would apply on my cheeks. And I used a stipple brush and how well it stayed. It worked really amazing. Then I had a little bit of this um, Hard Candy Shea Envy Primer. So when this finished, I actually just quickly grabbed this and used it and I, um, as I purchased Two kits that had the same size in it and i was also gifted one from maxine and i finished that snap project and i didn't use this one and so when i saw this i actually ran and started using it up to finish it because hey i need to finish off my primers then um this is my urban decay juju the it went in a little food and i've been trying to get it out but this pretty much was i, I mean i had a little bit there that i wanted to use up but of course because it went and I couldn't get to it. I finished my NYX retractable eyeliner in silky cashmere. This was nice and it did stay quite long on my waterline. And we're down to three last items. I finished this Daisy Marc Jacobs. I have always been tempted to purchase this perfume and I will consider it. I really enjoyed it. Urban Decay Perversion Mascara. Um, this dried up a thing too fast. Actually, no. Maybe I've had it for close to three months. Um, but I felt I've used other mascara, sample mascaras that have worked longer. But yeah, it was okay. And um, I have another one. And I really liked the one that came in my um, Urban Decay palette on the go. So I, I guess this was like an old batch or something. Because that formula and that one works amazing. Last product is this Palmer's Cocoa Butter Formula um, Scar Serum. Absolutely love this thing and it works really amazing. I have a lot of scarring on my legs, especially from like mosquito bites and sandfly and those things. And this works amazing and I can't seem to find it again. And I was skimping on it, but it's gone. And I really, really enjoy it and would recommend if you can get this. It works great for um, scarring. It really, really looks great. I actually had an accident where I I hit my head and I had a huge scar here. And pretty much I used it for that. And people don't really even know that I have this scar. I mean, outside of like when I take off my makeup, it doesn't really show that much. And it was thanks to actually this. And my sons had like little accidents because they're boys. And they used that. And it worked amazing on their scar um, when they got their cuts and bruises and stuff like that even two I think twice they, um, Joshua had stitches and Jonathan had stitches once and it has worked amazing for those two so that is all the stuff that I finished in February I will insert at the end of this video the value of everything in terms of how much I used up and then how many samples I actually was able to finish this month thank you guys for watching if you do empties videos let me know i love watching them because they're so encouraging and i love the little mini reviews that i um, get from them so until next time